Hello, YouTube. Partner here. No, I haven't disappeared and I haven't just become a voice in the background. Thought I should actually do a video for a change and do it on my own. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, yeah, sorry, Hippo, you didn't get in this one. But uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, this is a VR, as you can probably tell in the title. Um, Unicorn Piper, 900 subs, which is 970 something by now. Um, um, I wanted to a uh, unicorn piper, Ben. I uh, wanted to see some uh, estate pipes. Um, I have quite a collection of estate pipes. Um, and uh, I figured I've never shown all my Dunhills um, on, you know, in, at one time. So I figure I'd show you my Dunhills. Um, uh, first, what I'm smoking. Uh, I'm smoking a blend from Magnus Falcom, which is a tobacconist in Germany, some blend 404. And what this is, it's a vapor. Um, and I just have, I, I think it's like uh, Dan Tobacco's Limerick, but in bulk form. Because uh, that's what it reminds me of. And I'm smoking it in a pipe that was gifted to me by Big Hippo. Uh, it is an Indian Pipes Sioux. Just look! at that grain. Uh, little billiard, uh, it was one in a bunch that he gave me to uh, clean up for him and, and he was nice enough to say you better keep that one because I, I took a liking to it so uh, yeah. Whoa! It smokes just nice. I, I don't know who makes it, I don't know who, who it's a sub brand of or, or whatnot but uh, it is a nice smallish uh, billiard nonetheless. So it is good to clench. Anywho, um, I need a pipe stand. There you go. I need a pipe stand. Because I can't clench and talk and smoke a pipe and all those. I, I, I just can't do it. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, in no particular age order. Um, although I think I will grab the oldest one I know that I have. Uh, this one is uh, a 1969 Dunhill. This has got done. none of these pipes. Okay, my pipes are like a mechanic's car. It's all the, it's always the last ones to get polished and looked after and whatnot. So these are all been oxidised and they're all dirty and dusty because right next door is my wood shop and dust floats everywhere. So um, bear with me. Uh, little uh, 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 bulldog, straight bulldog. It's a um, uh, oh my god. Uh, a shell briar, <laughs> brain snap. Uh, so that one I picked off of eBay. Um, good price. Uh, it's a Group Three. Uh, fantastic smoker. It's got a really wide, but very very thin uh, bit on it, and uh, it is just an absolute wonder to smoke that thing. Just demolishes tobacco. It's really really good. Um, uh, that one's definitely a keeper. So uh, yeah. Now the other one, uh, the other old one I have, and I can never ever be sure about this one because I really can't read the stamp or the the, the suffix number on the end. Um, I think it's either it's either a 1959 or a 1969 uh, Shellbriar uh, Cherry Wood. Cherry Wood. Um, I hunted around high and low for one of these, and I picked this up for a stupid price. It looked like absolute crap when I got it. Uh, this got sent off to uh, Briarville Rick for uh, some uh, TLC. Came back and it looked brand new. Lovely pipe. Uh, I can see why people went nuts over these things. Although I am not a poker fan. And I got this mainly for an investment kind of deal. But it is nice to smoke. So uh, that's that one. Uh, the next one I have. Okay, we're up into... Oh, hang on. Here's another one. Oh, here's another late one. And this one's hard to date because there's no suffix number on the end of it. It's just got uh, Dunhill, uh, it's a shell briar, 
LBS, which I, anywhere you look, it says um, that it was it's a, a, a short short shanked billiard. Um, I don't know a lot of information on this one. Uh, this was an insane gift by Mr. Alex George for my birthday. Um, not, I think it was, yeah, last year. Uh, he, he's just done some stupid shit. But <laughs> he gave me this. Um, uh, this is a big pipe. It's, it, it says it's a Group 4, but it's not. I think it's actually a bit bigger than that. I think it's more like a Group 5. Um, but uh, it is a one capacious bowl. And uh, smokes like a charm. It's really, really good smoking pipes. Um, my birthday pipe. First Dunhill I ever bought. And I thought, okay, well, I've got the money now. I'm going to see what all the hubbub's about. I'm going to get myself a Dunhill. And I look around for a, for a, um, uh, what do they call them now? Basically, it's an oversized uh, bowl. Everyone gets them for their birth year. can never remember the name of it. You can look it up. But I got myself a 1975 Bruyere. Uh, this is the bottom of the range Dunhill. Uh, I didn't care because I just want to see what all the hubbub's about. Uh, and uh, from this one, which it does have, you know, some some nice grain going on, some striking grain, not straight up and down, um, uh, but it's uh, it's just a nice pipe. It really is a nice pipe. Uh, it smokes well, does the job. Um, it has a nice drawer on. Just, just yeah. I look, the money's right again. I'll have it. Thank you very much. So there it is. Um, the next couple of pipes, um, uh, I bought from Briarville Rick. Uh, it was when I was coming over for the, uh, Chicago Pipe Show. And, um, he, uh, we were on Skype this one particular day. Uh, it's been a while since I've Skyped with, with Rick. But, um, he, uh, said to me, he said, oh, I've got a couple of Dunhills I'm going to be, because he was, you know, dealing with the state pipes then. Don't know whether he still is. But, he, uh, he had the, these two pipes. He showed me the first one, uh, which was a uh, Canadian. Now, this is a, where are you? It's a 1977 uh, Root Buyer Briar Canadian. It's a Group 4. Uh, and I just, again, they need a good polishing, so just slight oxidization. Uh, this was a refurbished pipe of his uh, that that he had for well had, had it for from a customer, and uh, he showed me that. I went great, yep, I'll take it, um, fantastic. And he says, "Well, um, you don't really want to know about the bulldog." And I'm like, "Oh God, show me the bulldog." So it's a '77. This is a 1976. So I, I've got a bit of a number thing going on here. So. Uh, so yeah, they're all, all about to hit the 40 year old. So it's, it's another Root Briar, Group 4. Um, really, really nice smoking pipe. Um, uh, what you hear about Dunhills is, exact, is, is very true. They all have fantastic drawers. They're really, really, really nice pipes. Um, so yeah, so that was number six. Number seven, um, Alex George struck again. And uh, this here, is a 1976 again another root briar whoa but a bent billiard and this pipe is again another fantastic smoker it's one of my favorite dunhills um you can see on top i've smoked the behoozies out of this one and um yeah just just sits in your face hole really nice and uh yeah so i uh i got a seven day set of dunhills um i don't know whether you call them they're not a match set but it's a set of dunhills nonetheless so um yeah so um shout out to bremen pipe smoker he just sent me this recently it's a mortar uh tamper that he made just look at that grain fantastic so thanks mark um so yeah, that, that's that's my Dunhill collection. Um, most of the pipes you see behind me on the rack, but apart from this section here, uh, most of them are all estate pipes. So you know, when I started out pipe smoking, you know, five six years ago, I didn't have the money to um, you know beyond buying corn cobs, which I don't smoke anymore. 
Um, I've become somewhat of a briar snob, what can I say? Um, and I, I don't mean to be arrogant about that, I just don't like corn cobs anymore. So, it's, you know, subjective, it's just my thing. Uh, so, yeah, I, I started out buying uh, estate pops, and that's the way it went. And, uh, when you don't have eight, nine hundred dollars for a for an artisan pipe or a uh, or a, a, a brand new Dunhill, or you know, and you don't have, you know, because uh, back then bones pipes weren't around and blackjacks weren't around, and uh, you know, I always thought looking here in Australia, Petersons were always really expensive and Stanwells are really were really expensive. Uh, I mean, the first estate pipe I ever bought was this here. It's a Stanwell brass band. Um, uh, again, dusty as hell. Um, it, it's a nice pipe and it, it feels good in the hand, but the bowl is just massive. That's at least a two hour smoke right there. It's huge. So, you know, you don't have to start out with expensive pipes. Uh, some of my other favorite pipes, I've got old Grey Bays, old, old, uh, old K Woodies. Um, fantastic smoking pipes. So, um, if you're looking to make that switch from corn cob to briar, uh, or just starting out, then hell, get an estate pipe. Um, yeah, can't go wrong. So, anyway, uh, that's me. I'm done. Uh, ben, congratulations. Uh, 900. Wow, that's it. Just didn't seem well that long ago you started. So, um, that's a huge effort. So, and looking at your site tonight, uh, your page, it was like. 972 as I look at your page and uh, well there you go uh, but um, anyway I'm gold so I'm out of here cheers everyone take it easy good to see you cheers